Hello, so for lab 7.1, uh, I'm first going to uh, generate a virus that'll open up a uh, interpreter shell. Um, so first to do that, I would type in MSF venom dash P and then the type of attack I would like or, or exploit. And this is going to be a reverse TCP. Um, so next would be the local host, which is this. This is the host of the Kali machine. And then the local port that you would want to connect on. Uh, it's going to create a .exe and it's going to be called a virus, virus.exe. So I also had to uh, look in line and make an icon and you can see in here I had all three. Um, so let me go through those steps. Uh, well here's the finished product, product right here. Um, so I need my picture uh, the virus and the icon. So first I'm going to archive the picture and the virus together. Uh, I'm going to create a self-extracting uh, uh, archive. Uh, I'm just going to change up the compression a little bit. Uh, I don't need a password. RAR is fine. So I'm going to go to advanced and look at the SFX options. Um, so text and icon, I'm going to add in my beagle icon. Uh, and then setup, this is what I want to run after the extraction. So first it's going to open up the beagle.jpg image right here and then next I want it to run my virus.exe uh, and that's good so I'll hit OK um, actually oops let me just hide everything and then I'll hit OK and that'll hit well, I named it desktop, but before it's called dark dog virus. Um, so before that gets ran, I also need to set up a listener. Um, so I set up a listener um, through interpreter. I use the command use exploit slash multi slash handler hit OK and you show options uh, it looks like all those options are good and then I hit exploit and it'll uh, start a, a handler or listener open so basically it'll listen it'll wait for you know one of the these two things to be hit. Um, so let's try that now. And there you go. There's the session that's opened. And now I think, what can I do? Hit LS and it'll show me everything on basically the desktop over there. Um, what else can I do? I could probably... Hmm. Probably find options for the OS, but I'm not sure what that command is. But I can hit in uh, ipconfig, which is basically ifconfig for uh, Windows machines. Um, I don't know if that, yeah. Uh, 
sure there's a couple other things, but I don't really know much command line for uh, Windows. Um, I wonder if I could do run CMD. Maybe not. I'm not sure uh, other commands, uh, but you know, in the future, I'd probably have to look that up uh, to you know get anywhere from getting into this Windows system. Uh, but there's just a few things. Those are very simple, like the just the ls to list all, and you know the ip config. Um, which you can find the IP address. Uh, you know, this would all be kind of useful uh, for like ex establishing a a botnet or you know infecting a local machine and trying to gain access into other machines on the network uh, since this is connected to the network. Um, I'm sure there's commands to make new users as well. So you could even make yourself a new a new user on the network uh, within here. Um, so basically, that's about it. Um, there's, I mean, there's many more possibilities since you have the command line open, uh, the the command shell. Uh, so thank you.